Hey everyone, how you doing? It's Vicious here, and today I'm coming at you with a quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you an easy way to run any kind of program that needs to be run from the command line. Command line programs are usually smaller community made patches, fixes, programs. There's a lot of different things that they can be, but generally you'll find them on smaller companies or users that create them because they don't have the time and resources necessary to make a self-running program that has a full graphic user interface. And so it's kind of on the technical side on how to use these. And then on widescreen gaming forum, we happen to have a lot of community fixes. So you might run into one of these command line executables that you need to know how to do this technique. So here I am on the sky drift, a detailed report at the widescreen gaming forum where you can find uh, this particular fix that I'm going to show you how to use today. We had a user ask how come when he runs the exe, the command line window opens up, but then it just shuts itself. And instead of just answering that one person, I'm making this tutorial video so I can show everybody how to do it. And now you'll know how to do it for other programs that you find out there on the internet and not just this particular one. So I've already downloaded this and I've got it on my desktop. Here's the uh, folder that I downloaded it to. It's Skydrift Fix 1. Inside of it, I have the EXE. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. If I double click this, a command line window opens up quickly and then shuts automatically. Here's how you're going to get around that. You can either go to the folder itself or inside of the folder, your choice. And what you want to do is hold down the control key and the shift key on your keyboard and right click and you'll have a new option here that's not normally available and it's going to say open the command line window here open command window here if you click on that it's going to open up the command line for you but it's already got the directory entered if you are a pretty windows savvy person you know you can open up the command line from the run window but it'll be giving you the base directory of your C drive and you'll have to manually change the directory to wherever your file is. So this saves you that step. Once you've got this open, generally speaking, most programs will allow you to type in the name of the exe and it will list your options. And this is no exception. If I type in skydrift fix one and hit enter, it tells me specific a fov value yes that's not the best english in the world but i understand what it means it's telling me i need to type slash fov and then my desired value i think if i remember correctly i used fov 3.0 to uh, play the game in infinity so what we're going to do is we're going to type the name of the exe again sky drift fix one you don't have to type the dot exe but you can if you want to and i'm going to type slash FOV 3.0 and now it says FOV th value is 3 and it's searching for a running skydrift process. I'm not playing the game right now but if I was it would have found the process and applied the fix to the game. So there you go that's how you run command line tools. You can do that for any other program that you need to know how to do it with so I hope this tutorial was useful for anybody that needed this information and I'll see you guys later.